it's different than Florida, majorly different, as in um, when you go outside and there's trees around and it's kind of windy, you can hear the wind blowing through the trees. It's almost like listening to waves at the ocean. It's really soothing. And I never realized this until I went back to Massachusetts and visited. I'm like, what is that noise? And it was the leaves blowing in the trees with the wind. And it is, oh, God, do I miss that. Whoops. Because we don't have leaves down in Florida. If we do, there's more stuff down here. Excellent. This is going to turn into another caving episode, isn't it? Oh, my God. It is. Unless there's torches over there. Please. No. Not caving hell. Caving hell. Um. And there's also something called seasons. Seasons are pretty awesome. Um. In Florida, we have four seasons. Hot, hotter, even more warm, or hot, and hottest. And, oh my god, I can't believe it's this damn hot. Uh, and if that sounds like an understatement, um, or an overstatement, I should say, it really isn't. It is just hot, hot, and hot. Give you an idea. Um, yesterday, the town I grew up in, in Massachusetts... When I woke up, it was 48 degrees, which is magnificently perfect in every way. But, the what is up here? Is it just a... Okay, there's nothing up there. Um, which is, you know, perfect weather. And the high down here in Florida, same day, 93 feels like 97. I'm sorry. I'd rather, you know, be 40. That's it? Come on. Really? Okay, I believe you. That was kind of shitty. I'd rather deal with the um, little coolness because you can always put on clothes. There's a certain point where you can't take off any more clothes unless you're going to get arrested. And that's kind of like Florida. It's pretty. There is caves. Hmm. So that is really cool about Massachusetts. Um, another cool thing. Everything is historic. Not that I like history. But it's nice architecture. I mean, you can't help but love... Why is there light here? Is that just... Okay, well... I'm just making sure there's nothing that I should be worried about. But, ah. Here, in Florida, where I live, the town I live in, give you an idea, was made into a town in 2012. <laughs> just like three years ago. The town in Massachusetts that I lived in was made a town in 1648, I think. It was. Other things in Massachusetts, like in Florida, I mean, you have bugs in Massachusetts, but in Florida, everything is stings you and is venomous, even ants. And. Aww. Really? Oh, I got a flame bow. That's nice. Totally forgot about that. So, like, in Florida, you see a bug, you run the other direction. Oh, really? You're going to come at me again? A little bow hit? Yeah, that's right. I bow hitted you. In Massachusetts, you see a snake? Don't worry. You can play with a snake. It might bite you, but it's not poisonous. In Florida, you see a snake, you go the other direction. See a spider? You go in the other direction. Um, you don't have to worry about poisonous and stinging things unless it's a bumblebee in Massachusetts. Uh huh. Come on, let me put it. Let me place it. I don't want to get wet. I mean, burned. <laughs> I don't mind getting a little wet. Probably still wet from playing in the puddles earlier. 
So, wildlife, Massachusetts wins. Yes, we do have, and even President Obama is down here today. We have the Everglades, but where I actually live in Florida, what? Oh, okay. I was thinking this water was a different color, like a jungle water, and I needed some vines badly. So even uh, Obama, he's doing a speech from the Everglades today. And even just going into the water, I mean, down here, you got the crocs, alligators. You actually have both. Some people will argue with you with that, but you do have both. Ah! Massachusetts, we don't have anything like that. Nothing that's going to come out of the water and eat you. Um, well, okay. I'm forgetting about one little thing. Uh, Jaws. <laughs> I guess we have sharks. But I guess, you know, there's not going to be a shark NATO, so you don't have to worry when you're driving around in your car being killed by a shark. I used to work for a courier company. And if we... If I wanted to be in Boston, and I'm 20 miles away, that usually meant... Um, a two and a half hour drive. Florida is where I live now. I long for Massachusetts because you always long for what you don't have at the time. I imagine if I moved back to Massachusetts, I would be like, oh yeah, well I was taken for granted all the good stuff that happens in Florida. I long for Florida now. So it's just, you know, that's how things are. And you, you will see, I contradict myself all the time. If you say, oh, well, in episode 10, you said this about this, and episode tw 20, you want the exact opposite on it. Well, that will happen. Because I aren't perfect. And, you know, a lot of things that you think about are really basically per mood. I miss people's bad attitude. I joked about it, but I really do miss that. Um, I like being able to... I I have trucker's mouth. I mean, people call it trucker's mouth. But everybody in Massachusetts, especially like in South Boston, the word fuck um, can be used as a noun, an adjective, an adverb, a pronoun, whatever it is. And the best way to understand how people speak in like South Boston or East Boston or even where I am from Salem is watch the movie Scarface and Al Pacino's character. It's exactly how we talk. We have no problem to say, fuck you, you fucking fuck. Because you're fucking fucking with everything you fuck. Sorry if you're a child, but fuck you. And I kind of miss that. I kind of miss... Being able to... Ah, stop throwing. I know it sounds crazy. But I kind of miss being able to talk to people like that. Down here, if I ever told somebody to fuck off or whatever. It's like, oh my god, you're going to hell. You you against Christian stuff and stuff like that. <laughs> you going to hell. Massachusetts is like, yeah, whatever. Fuck you too. <laughs> and I kind of miss that. I mean, it's not a positive thing, but it's it, it's just the way I was brought up. So yeah. Smooth stone because we we are gonna be using some uh, yeah some of those. This building is gonna be gray on gray on gray on gray with gray accents, so it will be a nice, beautiful gray building. Where are you? Where are you? Come here. Come here. Yes. That's right. You. Come here. You. If you're going to make that noise, you're going to have to let me kill you. You're dead. Stop making that noise. It shows up more when it's completely dark. But you kind of see the idea how it's going to be. I was thinking of maybe utilizing some sort of drop down thing in the middle, like down to that level right there and have light and above it so there's a strike 
strike a streak of light on the ceiling but um i voted against that this is not really putting the mustache on the build but it's putting something on the build and what i'm talking about is uh Frank Zappa used to say, well, you got to put the mustache on the song, which is the expression, the, the thing that makes it stand out. And how that um, coincides with Minecraft is if everything, you know, you could build a house out of all the same blocks okay that should be it for this side and yeah it's gonna look okay but it's not gonna really look good if like this is too plain but it works for this particular build so I kept it that way I was gonna put a design or another like inlet thing oh another 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 come on come here come here where are you come on stop it Come on, I want your ender pearl. Jerk. So, like this, I mean, yeah, it looks okay. But to put the mustache on a build is kind of do what B-double-O does with his builds. He spices them up. He changes the blocks out. He is an amazing builder, but if you just take the... Um, you know, just build a square house with the same block, it's not going to look good. So putting a mustache on it is kind of like putting the expression on it. So how uh, he builds and the stuff he adds to what he's building is putting the expression on it. Or putting a mustache on it. So this build does not have that big a mustache. <laughs> so to say. But I do believe in that mustache and will do that in future builds you can take that to everything that you create with with music I can write the same chords for each verse I can uh, you know have the verses basically duplicate each other musically without um, without changing it up so like the first verse even is the same as the second verse even though different words uh, the music's the same no you don't do that you change it up you make it interesting you put the mustache on it and that's what Frank Zappa was talking about putting the mustache on it and that's what you gotta do with this game Put the mustache on it. If I have two tunnels here, one going down, one going up. I don't know if I've told you this. In the future, you see that pinnacle up there? I'm going to have a stairway go up there, and that's where the king's going to stay, and there's going to be a window to look out over the thing. And it's going to stick out a little bit and be, I don't know, uh, a two-sided trapezoid pyramid. Wow, geometry. So that's what that's going to be okay. all about. This is what I'm going to do. Um, my kid is coming off the bus fairly soon. How long is this recording right now? It's an hour and 44 minutes. Um, I'm going to go get my kid. And finish off this episode a little bit later on tonight. Basically what I'm going to do is. Um, let me talk to you. What I'm going to do is finish. Cutting out this hall. And how, depending on how long it takes. I will. Um, maybe make. The points where I want to make. Like the. Put up the andesite but not the stairs and stuff. We'll see what happens. It will be hard only to record for 15 minutes because I'm so used to recording for a couple hours. But 
My fiance's sick. She's asleep right now. The alarm is set to go off in a minute or two, and I'm going to turn off that alarm and get the kid myself so she doesn't wake up. I'm being a good doobie. So, hang in there. I'll be right back. Okay, guys? And then we did her homework. And she uh, had missed a couple of days because we uh, unfortunately had to spend a couple of nights in the hospital. So we were all kind of tired. So um, she didn't go to school and we had like excess homework. We had like four, four days worth of homework. So we got that done. And she was really cool about it. Nobody likes doing that much homework. So that took longer than normal. Um, then I had my dinner. And then I started, uh, you know, you start wandering the internet. And after a couple minutes, three hours have gone by. That kind of happened. And I'm like, ah, I got to get something down. I want to finish this thing tonight. Um, over near where I have all my farms, I have an area that I pointed out earlier that I'm going to cut down the trees. Next episode, I am going to do just that. I'm going to cut down the trees, um, just so I'm not trapped in here, always inside of mine, you know, trying to keep it, um, consistent, uh, so... We don't get stuck doing really, really mundane things. It's going to be hard doing the builds, but we don't need to be stuck doing mundane things. So I'm going to go over there next episodes and cut down the rest of those trees, uh, make a boat dock, and if I have enough time... Um, find out exactly where I'm going to make a stairway up from down here somewhere wherever I put my boat I might just do it over here I don't know have a stairway set up like the same way I do inside the mine to come up here to get in here kind of make a pathway and a dock made out of stone you know, something different than the normal wooden dock.